G'day everyone, Jay here, Squiggle FPV. Just here to do a quick little review of the Bichine trash can. Nice little unit here. They're um, yeah, pretty good. Um, they retail around 100 US dollars. Um, they come with uh, 802, 15 or 803, sorry, 15 kV, 15,000 kV motors. Uh, it goes one or two S. And if you get uh, 450, I think it is, 451 S batteries, you can fit two of them in here. Um, it comes with the Crazy B uh, F4 Pro uh, flight controller, and that's, uh, it's pretty good. It also comes, it's got D-Shot, which most things have these days, which um, allows you to put turtle mode, so if you stack it, you can flip it back over instead of having to go and wander over and get your drone. It's got a little separate VTX. Uh, the VTX is adjustable between 25 milliwatts and 200 milliwatts. So if you want a little bit of extra range or a bit of reception, then um, this one's a good one. It's got adjustable camera angle like the Mobula, so you can go up or you can go down. Also, one thing I don't mention when we have a look at the up close is where the boot buttons are. They're just under here. There's a boot button. It shows you in the um, in the instructions, but yeah, the boot button and also the bind button are under here. So. Let's go and have a look at the up close and uh, we'll see what it's like. Here we are with the trash can up close. And this is what we get in the box. So you open it up, you get your usual little uh, manual of how to do everything and how to, to sort everything out and get it all flashed and everything. And here's the quad. As you can see, I've changed the prop straight away. Same as all my little mini ones. Uh, it comes nice like this, the adjustable camera, which is cool. Uh, it's got a nice little stack, you get two batteries uh, and they can go straight into there like that. As you can see, these have been a bit trashed. I've had a couple of goes with it outside and um, it, uh, it flies very well. I like it. They come with the 0803 15,000 kV motors and um, it's got a, what is it, there's a crazy bee flight controller and then there's also the uh, external um, VTX now the VTX button is right there so you can change your channels and all that sort of stuff um, the camera if you can just see there it's the Cadex EOS 2 from memory um, it's a good little camera I like it and um, that's how that now you get spare set of props, there's that, and also here's your little charger, yeah it does alright for one, you can change it, or, or 4.2, and that's, uh, that is 4.35 for high v HV batteries. Um, you get a spare set of batteries, and then you also get a little bag of goodies. Now your bag of goodies comes with your, your extra props, those props were the ones that came on it. It's also got the little jumper so you can run 1S. Comes with a, uh, a XT30, which is pretty cool. Another screwdriver, getting a real good collection of these. Little, uh, comes with a little Allen key, that's for adjusting your camera. There's your prop remover, you got some pads here, and also a couple of spare screws and whatnot for that sort of thing. So that's pretty much all that's in the box. All right, let's go and have a look how she flies. Okay, here we are out in the field, and um, I was quite impressed with the way it flew straight out of the box. Um, you know, it's uh, got a little bit of punch. Uh, it's pretty agile. Now they are a bit stronger, so they do handle um, the, the uh, crashes a bit better because the frame's a little bit uh, thicker and heavier. But you also get a trade-off with it being heavy. And there is a little bit of prop wash here and there that you might be able to see it but that's to be expected from the micros so yeah it even does power loops um you know flips and rolls all that sort of thing it um it's pretty good too with um the floating sort of stuff but um otherwise um, i'm pretty impressed with it now it does as you can see have a bit of a red hue in the camera um, it's something you get used to if you're flying it around all the time, but if you're swapping between quads, um, it, it can get a little annoying, but that's just me, you know, it's my personal opinion. Um, but otherwise, 
you know, I'd have to say it's, um, it's, it's a really good unit and I'd highly recommend it for starters to intermediate. Alright, so that was a look at the up close and the uh, flight video. Um, as you can see, they're pretty good little things. They've got a bit of punch. Uh, they're really, really well, well built. My one here, I've bashed in a lot of things and um, it's still going, hasn't broken. I broke more chassis on the Mobula. Bit of exciting news. Um, I've got two of these to give away, thanks to Banggood. Um, they've supplied me with two, and uh, all you have to do is like this video, and then I'll put a link to my Facebook page, head over to there, like my page, and then write a comment uh, underneath this video, share, and tell me what receiver you'd like, and also tag two mates, so they can go and have a look if they want to get one as well. On the 17th of July, I'll be drawing it and I'll let you guys know and we'll get your addresses. So that's two of these, the whole kit, like this. Now the giveaway is in conjunction with um, a big sale that's on in Banggood at the moment. Um, thank you to them for supplying the two for the giveaway. I hope you like this video. So don't forget, get down the bottom, you know, like this one, subscribe to my channel, head over to the Facebook page, like that page too, and, and you know, do the rest. And I hope you all win. Good luck, keep flying, talk to you next time.